So what drove you to the streets? What put you there? Well, it started when I was a little girl. I got raped. I was sexually abused. No! <laughs> Just close your eyes and wait for it to be over. I got older, I really started to hate my body. It was a rush, it was something that I could control. It was the only thing in my life that I could control. Money ran out, I had no choice but to sell my body on the streets. Because basically I had no respect for my body anyway. And it had been abused and used so much. It was turning a few tricks. person I am now is like just totally I'm, different I'm me you know I'm really me again I'm like totally I'm so creative and you know drugs I'm, in the streets definitely warp you yeah for sure it's like I mean I learned a lot and it's made me the person I am so I would never want to change that but uh what about you to us well my story is I was um kicked out at the age of 16 and uh, physically and mentally abused until then. Like I used to abuse myself like and uh, cut myself up, like like inflict pain because that's the only way, that's the only way I, I, I knew of pleasure. Like, you know, like, and I have all these scars all over me now that I look at in disgust. I had to fill the gap somehow, so that, that was the only thing I was that I knew that I was comfortable with was being abused and so I thought oh it's okay. it's okay you know I'll cut myself up and I'll take overdoses of aspirin and sniff paint cans and pens and glue and every, anything to get high yeah that's the way to go but it's not you know his eyes feel his eyes feel them don't be afraid to touch emptiness. Don't be afraid to touch loneliness. Caress his eyes. Kiss his eyes. Miss his eyes. Steal them for him. And make him give them away. Clear mind. Clear soul. There's no point in hurting yourself and abusing yourself. But I had to find out the hard way. But now I, you know, I'm here to teach other people the same thing. Yeah, I just, I know, I, sexual and, and mental abuse is what drove me to the streets. Drugs became my everyday escape. You know, I, I, I got addicted to crack, even though I just started out with pot and acid, and I said that's all I'd ever do. But it gets to the point where it's so dreary. You know, I'm drug free now, I'm almost 18 years old, and... And like now poetry and my artwork have become my escape instead of drugs. Six men trapped by happenstance and dark and bitter cold. Each one possessed a stick of wood or so the story's told. Their dying fire in need of wood, the first man held his back. For on the faces around the fire, he noticed one was black. The next man sitting across the way is someone not of his church and could not bring himself to give the fire his stick of birch. The rich man just sat back and thought of all the wealth he had in store and how he'd keep what he had from the lazy, shiftless poor. The poor man sat in tattered clothes, he gave his coat a hitch. Why should a stick of wood be put to use to warm the idle rich? The black man's face bespoke revenge as the fire passed from sight. All he saw in his stick of wood was a chance to spite the white. The last man of this forlorn group saw nothing here to gain.
only to those who gave was how he played the game. The six sticks held in death's still hands was proof of human sin. They did not die from the cold without. They died from the cold within. <laughs>